Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Rod, Holiday Fund Crypto, uh, your new source for all things cryptocurrency, news, tips, tricks, and alerts. Let's dive into it. Let's see what we got going on in the market today. Uh, pretty big day on the market. Uh, we got a new, uh, I think it's the all-time high for market cap. We got a $1.8 trillion market cap, which is up over 4% from yesterday. Uh, you know, no surprise there. Uh, they're saying today was going to be the day that the, that stimulus money was actually flowing into the hands of people. So uh, you start seeing it coming into the market. Uh, you know, it's up $100 million kind of today over yesterday, somewhere in there. Um, you know, no surprise in the uh, the top two. Well, uh, we got Bitcoin and Ethereum still at uh, the top two there. Uh, Cardano moved back up into third. Uh, and then Binance, Tether are rounding up top five. Uh, we do have Polkadot kind of sitting back in sixth place right now for me. I'd like to see uh, Polkadot move up a bit, but that's just because I'm holding the bag of it. Um, just to keep going down the top 10 here, we got XRP, which is, uh, still hanging around there. They haven't really finalized all their news, so we could definitely see them either go up or down. Uh, Uniswap, Litecoin, and Chainlink. Um, Chainlink's having a nice little pump up here, almost 10.5%, now the 975 as we're talking about it, so... Let's not talk about it because we've got bags of that uh, held back as well. So things are starting to look out pretty good on the market. Things are moving ahead. So, you know, people are still optimistic, right? There's still lots of money coming in. So talking about optimism, we've got the fear and greed index here. Uh, it's at 72. Uh, good indicator showing that there's still a lot of people out there that are wanting to make lots of money, guys. Um, it's good to see this. We got lots of buying signals right now. Uh, in the last month, we're at 95. We're showing extreme greed. So, again, uh, these are all good signals in the market that there are people looking to buy as things get bought up. Supply goes down, demand goes up. So, we get a price increase, which is what we're all here looking for. Um, so, that's positive things so uh you know as we spoke there a little bit earlier about uh the number three spot holding cardano um cardano this year has kind of been the sleeping giant people are waiting for this thing to wake up and go on its run um i for one certainly didn't think that we'd be talking here in march that it really hadn't performed yet but it hadn't and it looks like with the news of it being listed to Coinbase Pro effective tomorrow, Thursday, March 18th at, uh, I believe it's noon, um, we're going to see quite a bit of money flooding into this market. And hopefully we're going to get a couple of good little pumps tomorrow. Um, I've drawn the lines here across the tops. Uh, it kind of points right up to a $2.00. If things kind of were moving the way it were where it was going, um, I, I honestly think that we could break two dollars tomorrow. I, I think we'll definitely see it. Um, I, I think two twenty five is kind of my price projection for tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I had some things come up, and I'm not going to post this video until later. So. It'll kind of be like a wait and see and uh, see where our prediction ends up. But definitely looking for big things there. Uh, I just got another bag of this this week. Uh, so definitely got um, a, sell, a sell order set for it. Hopefully we can cash out on some uh, short term investments on it this week. Again, guys, this is just entertainment purposes. This is how I feel what's happening in the market. You need to do your own research uh, for anything that you guys are doing for buying or selling of any of your assets or, or, or just really guys, it's important for you to do your own, your own research. So uh, there are people out there that are pumping and dumping uh, currencies or apparently that happens. It takes a lot of us to band together to actually do something like that. 
but just make sure you're doing your research and you're not just buying based on what somebody's saying on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook kind of thing. Um, so again, anyways, we're in a nice projection up pattern here. Again, I'm thinking 2 to 225 for Thursday this week. We'll maybe call it, you know, end of week, but then we'll start to see it kind of settle back down and follow this line. Uh, hopefully we can keep it uh, projecting up and we can get some of those gains that we all anticipated early in this year. Um, we're using coin market cap right now, guys, actually, uh, you know, coin market cap is a great little site, great little tool. I use it actually just to actually keep track of all of my assets across different things. Uh, and then I actually use the app to set price alerts so I get indicators on my phone uh, while I'm out and about on what the market's actually doing. So if I need to get in and sell something or if I have uh, a sell price or a buy price set on something, I'm actually getting that alert uh, prior to. So if there's anything that I need to do to adjust that, um, I can do that on the go. Great little feature for this app. Um, Again, it's a phenomenal source for information. Uh, you can learn about what Cardano is here, the founders, what makes it unique. Uh, you can get news alerts. You can, this is a great spot to kind of start your investigation on what's going on again. Don't just take any one place uh, for face value. Um, but again, this is just where I start for my information. Um, it's just, it's a good tool to have. The more tools you can have, the more, the um, the clearer the information or the better the information, the valid validity of the information you're getting that you can actually go forward and go out and buy. So another spot I like to use is the Cointelegraph. Cointelegraph right now is uh, predicting based on stock to flow creator that 288,000 dollar bitcoin is uh likely by the end of december kind of thing um you know most people are saying this uh market uh, may kind of come to an end the bull market might be looking at some kind of woe up come october but again we don't really know there's been a huge influx in uh institutional money uh something that we haven't typically seen um so you know the, the market may change we don't know exactly the stock to flow market our model is showing you know kind of the bull run is going to end up wrap up around the end of this year and then we'll have to start monitoring and main like maintaining our positions on uh, what our exit strategies are so again here we are just going down um, the peak could be uncomfortably near, still far off. So, uh, for followers of stock to flow, the answer remains firmly the latter. Compared to the previous bull cycles, 2021 is just getting started. We're only three and a half months into the Bitcoin bull market from plan B that summarized. In their opinion, Bitcoin will not stop at a hundred thousand and will continue to stock to flow to 288,000 average price, all time high will be higher. Okay, so awesome news if you're holding a bag of Bitcoin. I think we all have a little bit staked in that company. So uh, this is good news. Who doesn't like to make money, right? So definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, we've got another one here. We've got Ethereum at a crossroads. Ether community turmoil over minor reward fees. Again, we're talking about the gas prices getting slashed here and the miners being upset. What's 